Now I want to talk about um, the little force you can find inside uh, the pops. Honestly, I don't use that more because uh, sometimes it's need uh, to create some effects. Sometimes it's, uh, maybe it's very fast to use another way. But however, these uh, tools, it's very nice and sometimes it's very comfortable for some situation. I think it's uh, the first question when you approach particles is uh, how I can move the particles around the path or on the path. How can I, my particles can follow the path? Inside Udini, you can use uh, one tool, it's the pop force curve. It's the, the force to apply this force from the, the path and uh, this path uh, is, my particle is follow this path. Actually, in this moment where I record her, I find the little bugs and I write the email to side effects and the little bug is sometimes is not create the same position for path and for emitter. And this happen when you choose, for example, the point from the, the curve, it's your emitter. More important, this effects it's working also with the RBD, for example, with the another kind of dynamics because uh, you can use also the, mul the multiple solver for merge also these effects. And sometimes it's very nice, for example, use uh, pop curve force with RBD. The pieces, for example, of your fracture, it's follow one direction from your curves. Okay, we can start, stop blah blah, and we can start uh, to analyze this sheen and we can see what's it's inside and how is work this uh, simple effects.